Hello, if you're looking at this video, you most likely purchased a AC timer and AC valve from Epiphany. And today we're going to talk about how to connect the, uh, the valve and the actuator to power. And normally these come already pre-wired pre uh, from the actuator to the valve and to the controller. This is a simple on-off switch, and then we're going to look at in more detail on how this is actually programmed. And it comes from the factory pre-programmed, but you may want to change that. When the valve is shipped with the timer, typically for a single unit application, the actual actuator will be already connected to the timer via a short length of conduit and pre-wired. And then there's another conduit here suitable with thread on the other side to connect your, your connections or uh, cable liquid tight seal. But when you first get it, the top will be on it as you saw in the first uh, pictures. And so you need to undo those four screws with a screwdriver and then carefully lift the top off. This will expose the innards. And this is where you would connect your hot, your neutral, and your ground. If you're in the US, that would correspond to the black for the hot, the white for the neutral, and either a green or, or a, a yellow green wire should should be available to you. And if it's a bare wire, just make sure that it's all of these wires, there's no conductor showing and make sure it's tight. If you're international, then it's brown for the hot, blue for the neutral, and you'll have a green with a yellow stripe. So We'll now look at uh, how to program the controller. So hopefully this is the only lightning you're going to see today. But what follows is the video that shows the actual programming of the controller. Demonstrating a, a digital timer. We'll turn the power on with the breaker switch and you'll see that immediately the program kicks in, starts counting down from one minute and the red light indicates that the uh, actuated valve will be open for this one minute. After one minute, the red light will go away, the relay will change to send the valve to the closed position and right now it's scheduled to uh, stay closed for four hours and then repeat the process. If we want to change the parameters of, or the time settings for either the open or close time, all we have to do is just hold down the green, the two green buttons at the same time for, for three seconds. Boom. Now you'll see that the timer is jumped to the mode or the edit mode or programming mode. Uh, cyclic on and off is, is the, uh, function that we're set on and this is the function light that's blinking right now so if that is the correct choice all we have to do is press the word set press the set button all right so now we've moved on to adjusting the uh the on time or when the how long the valve is open right now it's set for minutes and seconds that's the blinking parameter is minutes and seconds if i wanted to adjust that i could hit adjust and change to hours for H for hours or minutes only, seconds only, hours and minutes. In this case, I'm back to minutes and seconds. Uh, if you look at the time there, that's one colon zero zero. So that's one minute and no seconds. If I were want to adjust uh, anything, so if minutes and seconds is good, so I'm going to set that. Now there's I can make an adjustment with minutes by using the adjust button, and you'll see I can add make it two minutes, three minutes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now it's back to one. Let's hit the set button. Accept that. This is where I would use the adjust to move up in the in the uh, tenths digit of the seconds. This would be in the you know second digit of the seconds. I'm gonna hit set there. Now I've moved on <clears throat> to the uh, off time or the valve closing time. 
And this is set for hours and minutes. It's set for four hours and zero minutes. If I wanted to change that, I would hit adjust on the out to go from hours a minute or something different. Here I'm gonna hit set to accept the hours in a minute. And now I would use the adjust key to move to a different hour. To the left of the colon is hours, to the right of the colon is minutes. Set, set, set. Now what's blinking is the arrow, which means I'm counting down from one minute and, and I'm counting down from four hours. Uh, you could also hit adjust right now to change that to where it counted up to the one minute and up to the four hours. Anyway, I prefer the down because you, it's easy to see how much time you have left before the next, before the, before the relay is going to change status. So if I hit set there, boom. I'm back in the program mode, so it immediately started running after I did that. And you can see I'm counting down from one minute. The red light's on, so my valve would be open. After one minute, the red light will turn off because the relay has sent the valve to the closed position. I hope this helped. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful in programming, connecting the uh, timer and running your valve. If you have any questions or ran into any problems, please contact us via email at info at epiphany.com and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you again. Bye-bye.